Hey everyone, it's Janae Way, and today I'm coming at you with a new YouTube video, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the five things I hate about pole dancing. If you don't already know, I'm a pole dancer and pole instructor, and here on my YouTube channel I pretty much just talk about all things pole related. So if you're interested in pole dancing, but want to know some things that maybe you should be aware of before you jump into it, then keep on watching. But before we even get into this video, definitely make sure you're subscribed, okay, because I don't want you to miss a thing, and make sure you're following me on Instagram at Janeway so we can always stay connected, and so you can also see all the cool little poll stuff I be posting on there, so definitely check that out. But now let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, so the first thing I hate about pole dancing is how easy it looks. When you're in class and the instructor is teaching you a new move, they might do it perfectly and make it look so easy, but the moment that you try to do it, your body's like, nope, sorry, I don't know what you thought, we're not doing that today. And it can be especially frustrating on those days when you're in class and it seems like everybody else in the class can get that move, but you just can't get it for some reason. But honestly, that happens to everybody. So don't get discouraged if you feel like you can't nail something the first try. All you need to do is keep practicing and working on it and eventually you'll get it. All right, now on to number two. The second thing I hate about pole dancing is how scary it can be. When you're learning to climb and invert going upside down, even doing drops, it can be super scary because first of all, you're getting up in the air and then you're letting your body like just come down to the floor, or you're flipping upside down, holding yourself up with one leg, all this kinds of crazy stuff, and it is scary. It's definitely scary, but sometimes you just have to push yourself to get over those fears and know that you'll be okay. And that brings me right to number three, which is pole injuries. Pole dancing is super dangerous and should never be taken lightly, especially when you're learning more advanced tricks, climbing, going upside down. You're putting yourself at a high risk to get injured and pole injuries are no joke. A lot of times if you get injured from pole dancing, it can take weeks or even months to heal, which means you might have to take a break from poling for an extended period of time. And that sucks because nobody wants to be without the studio. Like my heart hurts if I have to be out of the studio for like one week. So having an injury and not being able to do certain moves or being limited in class really sucks because it's like, dang, I just want my body to work and do the stuff, but you have to give it time to heal. Um, safety, again, is paramount over anything. You don't want to overextend your body, especially if you're injured. So you always have to be cognizant of that. I get it. Nobody wants to be hurt. Nobody wants to not be able to go to class or not be able to take class, but you have to take care of your body. And unfortunately, that can suck sometimes. But even if you're fortunate enough to not get injured, this brings me to the fourth thing that I hate about pole dancing, which is the bruises. Sorry, not sorry. That is the sad truth about pole dancing. If that's something that you're interested in and want to start getting into, please realize that it's going to hurt. You're going to get bruised and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. And I'll show you guys some pictures. I constantly have bruises all over my body and as long as I'm pulling, they're always going to be there. I get bruises on my leg. I get bruises on my shoulder. I get bruises on the back of my arm and I'm still trying to figure out how I even got some of these bruises. So that's the funny thing too. You're gonna get bruises and a lot of times you might not even know where it came from, but guess what? It's gonna show up and it's gonna be there. And I actually have a quick funny story about bruising. So one of the girls that I take class with, she had some bruises in her inner thigh and I don't know what we were doing in class. Might have been doing pole sits or something like that. But the next day she actually had an appointment with her gynecologist for her annual exam. So she goes to her appointment, gets ready for her exam. As soon as her OBGYN goes to, you know, do her thing, she's like, is everything okay at home? And this girl just started laughing like, yes, I'm fine. It's literally from pole dancing. So just know you're going to get bruises in a lot of crazy places and people are going to look at you crazy if they see them like what's happening, but you just have to reassure them like, look, I'm fine. It's hundred percent normal. I'm a pole dancer. This is what happens to us. If you haven't started pole dancing yet, but you're looking to start, just be aware that you're gonna get bruises and there is nothing you can do about them. All right, now the fifth and final thing I hate about pole dancing is, unfortunately, the stigma that comes with it. Now, I'm not gonna say this is everybody's response across the board, but a lot of times when people find out you're a pole dancer, they automatically associate that with stripping. And first of all, that's a problem in and of itself because strippers and sex workers should never be shamed for what they choose to do. But that's a conversation for another day. But it's like people really don't understand that pole dancing is not reserved for strippers. Not all pole dancers are strippers and not all strippers are pole dancers. They're two completely separate entities and should be treated as such. 
but they both deserve to be respected. But I'm not going to keep talking about strippers and stripping because like I said, that's a completely separate subject. But what I will say is that pole dancing is an art and a sport that serves a variety of purposes. So if you're interested in learning more about pole dancing and all of its benefits and the purposes that it serves, or if you know somebody who really needs to be educated, then definitely check out this video up here where I talk about five benefits to pole dancing just so I can shed light on what it truly is and so people understand that it is not just some sexual dancing and it only serves that purpose. It is a whole lot more than that and that's what I want people to understand. So what I'm trying to do with my platform is just open people's eyes to realize that pole dancing is a lot more than what they think. All right, you guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below if there's anything else you hate about pole dancing that I might not have covered in this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe because I don't want you to miss a thing and make sure you're following me on Instagram at Janae Way so we can always stay connected. And until next time, I'll see you. Bye.